Hi, miniature friends. Um, a lot of people are curious about uh, supplies for doing miniatures. So I thought I'd do a video about that, about what supplies I have and what, uh, why, why I have them and why I recommend them. So I have done three of the big kits so far and I'm working on my fourth, just starting my fourth. So I figured I'd get set up while uh, you guys can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I recommend is a really good, solid, big work surface because um, you're not gonna wanna put it away every time you wanna work on it. Um, it's, and I, I use this, this is my kitchen island and I have enough counter space that I can cook otherwise. <laughs> so I don't necessarily need my kitchen island, but I will say when I'm done working on a kit and I get my island back and I get to cook on it, it is kind of nice. Uh, but this is the best place in my apartment to do it. You're gonna wanna protect this surface though. I don't wanna get glue on this. So what I have for that is a cry cut self-healing cutting mat. And I have this for two reasons. One, because it's it's for cutting and it will protect the blades and make your X-Acto knife blades last longer. But also, I don't know if you can see all these little shiny spots. That's all glue that I've gotten all over this mat and you will get glue on it. Um, and that's okay, because I usually use this side for cutting. And if you do Sam's study like I did, it's a ton of cutting all those tiny little books. Lots and lots of cutting and folding and you're gonna want a clean surface for that. And then I use this side for glue and yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's all covered with glue. So I think I'm just gonna, Call this one done and just use this side for this last project um, and buy a new one with my 50% off coupons at Michael's. Um, these are not super cheap, but it, like I said, if you use those 50% off coupons at Michael's and wait till they're on sale um, or wait till they're on sale or buy one, get one free, all of that, um, you can get some good deals. And they're, um, they'll come in lots of different shapes and sizes. This one is a nice size. It's not nonstick. It does kind of scoot around, but I haven't had a ton of problem with that. Um, so not too bad. So glue, I use Beacon's 3-in-1 glue. I've tried a cup, one or two others. Um, this one's okay. Bet, this is the best of the lot that I've found so far. Um, it does get a little stringy, but you get used to kind of like wrapping it <laughs> around itself so that it doesn't, that you can get the strings off your brushes. Um, I don't open the top most of the time. Um, because you can cut open, cut off this top and squeeze it. Usually I use brushes because they're much more accurate and you don't get globs of glue. Or if you do get globs of glue, you can brush them off. This is, these are Mod Podge brushes. It's a set of 10. Um, they're really, really small edges, some small and some big. So you can use this one for putting on um, the wallpaper and lots of big pieces of fabric. And then these little itty bitty ones are really great for you know doing little beads like that. They're, I think that's about five dollars. The glue I think is eight ninety nine. This is U.S. dollars by the way. And then this I think I think it was originally fifteen or seventeen ninety nine. And then I got that with that you know use your use your coupons at Michaels on all this stuff. Michaels has all this stuff. Um, then uh, probably like Joanne Fabric has some of these things too. So there's that. The next most important thing is a really good quality X-Acto knife. I only buy X-Acto brand. Um, this one is nice because it has like an anti-roll thing on the bottom and it has, you're gonna want your safety guard and blade. They're very easy to change the blades. I recommend you have extra blades because if you get frustrated or you're doing something, cutting something weird, you will break the tips off the blades and they do get dull. So I recommend having extra blades. Again, also Michael's, Joanne Fabric, and the other hobby places. This is a bone cutter. I've had this for ages because uh, I used to do um, desktop publishing and make uh, you know wedding invitations and things. This just makes a very clean line when you're folding paper. Um, but you'll see that in my, be used in my videos a lot. Um, this is, it's really good for folding very clean lines. And I've got a regular old pair of scissors. I also have had these fabric scissors for a long, long time. I recommend having just, you know, fabric that your scissors that you just use on fabric are, it's really helpful. Um, cause they cut much cleaner on fabric. I recommend having tweezers. These tweezers actually came with my Sam's study kit, the first one I did. And I have since, let me show you, I have since gone and bought several pairs of tweezers. 
you know, and but they're they're much uh, thicker. You want to see how thin those are? That when you're doing miniatures, you want them that thin, and that's it's really really helpful. So these ones I bought, I don't use that much. This set that came with my kit, I use a ton. And speaking of the kits, this is this is the little the supply kit that came with my newest kit that I'm just starting today, and it actually comes with scissors. This is the first one I've seen that comes with scissors or an awl, and it comes with a little uh, ruler as well. Most of the kits come with uh, tweezers, um, but yeah, and these and this one does too. But these are these original ones that those are the best ones I've found so far. But this one is this is the first kit that's ever come with scissors. Most kits do not come with glue. Although, you know, I think my first one did, but it was clear glue like this. Second and third kits did not come with any glue. It also, they don't come with batteries. And you're going to want to see what kind of batteries work for the lights that are in your kit. Because you're going to want to test them. And so I had this little button battery in my fridge. And this is actually really helpful for testing the lights before you install them. Because you don't want to go through all the trouble of installing the battery. Uh, or so installing the lights only to have them not work and, not, and then you not knowing why they don't work. So it's, before you install any lights, I recommend testing them on a battery just to make sure that they light up and then testing them periodically as you go through the steps of making like the chandelier or, um, you know, because it can, it can be, you know, 10, 15 steps and it, you can break the lights or at least you know disconnect the cords or you get glue so that the two sides the two connectors of the lights are touching or something like that a lot of things can go wrong so i test frequently um, your lights while you're installing them most kits do not come with these because it's not uh, allowed to ship glue and batteries in the u.s uh, so you might get them in your kit you might not um, what else? Oh, these are a really good pair of pliers. It's a small pair. Uh, I have a, I have a bigger pair, and I actually went and, and bought these specifically just for this because um, they, the kit that I had was was or the uh, set that I had was way too big. And you're gonna want a. I have my own ruler. This is good for you know cutting big things of um, of wallpaper and things like that. You can run your exacto knife along this as long as you're holding it down tightly. And you're gonna to need to measure one. And, and this, like I said, this is the first kit that's ever come with a ruler. So I've always needed my own. And then, um, oh, I recommend having, this is a set of uh, precision screwdrivers. I happen to have these from before and they have been helpful because if your kit comes with a music box, there are these tiny little screws that you're gonna to need to screw in. So, you know, ask your dad for them if you've got them. Now this is a little piece. This might be a piece needed. I've noticed that, and there's a tiny little screw in there. I wonder if that's for this. I'm gonna take that out. Some of the pieces in my bags in my this kit were open a little bit. So I'm gonna just try and keep those safe. Keep all these little things and then look in your box that your kit comes with and make sure that none of the pieces fell out because you can see this has been this this bag is is somewhat ripped open I also recommend this is a little sauce dish um, this one's from Pier One um, if you have a kit with a lot of beads that my Paris cafe and cake shop had a lot of little beads so it was nice to actually put put them in here and instead of trying to dig through the bag and then I have some of these bigger um, these are just Ziploc little containers so that when you get a bag full of parts, you can just open it and dump that in there. Come on. Come on. And then take a little sticker off the bag. And you can put that on the front of it. And now you know these are the C parts, so when you're looking for these particular parts, you don't have to struggle with the bag and trying to find them in there. And then these little, yeah, so all of these little parts were in the bottom of my box uh, that had come out. I'm assuming this is a C part because that's yellow. Uh, but these little black ones, like, I don't know where they go. So I'm just going to keep them safe for now in my little sauce cup 
so I don't lose them because you will, I'm sure you'll need them later. Let me think of what else. I think that's everything. Oh, I've got this, um, this from my sewing kit, just uh, pins and needle and thread if you want to sew your pillows, if there are pillows in yours or cushions. The Paris Cafe and Cake Shop had a fair amount of pillows and, and fabric things. And so I found having pins helpful and they can help hold things, especially fabric. If you're gluing fabric, it's good to have a few pins to hold it together uh, while the fabric dries. So I think that's it for now. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I use on a regular basis, but that's it. So enjoy your kits and make sure to share photos of them because they're so much fun to see. Thanks for watching.